Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a video on, obviously why well, you've clicked the link for the Mandalorian review. Now, first before we, we get off, you get the, you know, subscribe, etc. If you want to subscribe, you, you do. If you don't, you don't. Um, I just want to point out though, that this is my first review and I'm like you, you know, sat watching YouTube videos because I'm interested in Star Wars and how they go. Okay, so let, let's get into it. The apostate. Uh, so we start a scene off with the um, armor, you know, smashing out some Beskar armor, and then from there, you know, I'm thinking, you know, what's going on here? We obviously see this, which is obviously part of the helmet, and then you see to start a spraying it all in blue. She's then walking along carrying the, this helmet, and out coming out of the cave, she is there then, followed by some other um, Mandalorians. And they're all ready to do a, a Wakanda style um, ceremony. Just got the photos of, of, of the people that you can see in it, um, different Mandalorians. So we see this child and I'm thinking, oh, that's this is Dinjarin. You know, maybe it's a flashback. And they're talking and, you know, we get a good shot of it there. And then from out of there, you know, this water just starts kicking out all over the place. As you see, we've got this big crocodile type picture. Here is what it looked like at the end of that picture, the way that it may, may have been. But obviously they went for the crocodile alligator style. Uh, Mandalorian shooting them like mad as anything. You know, they jump up, let, let's fly, land on top of them, st stick some charges on it and nothing happens. For some reason they thought, oh, you know, let, let's put some rope on them and everything will be good, but it doesn't. Uh, the armor runs in to protect someone and then she gets hoofed all the way over to one side and um, from there this massive blast happens and lo and behold it's Mando so then obviously he flies in good picture of uh, uh, that shot there some good CGI kicking in here uh, obviously from the front of his cockpit sends over a couple of blasts and as you can imagine dead on target and then you know we're getting some blood and gore um, splatter flying into the air obviously now the creature's dead have no clue what the name is Another good shot from there, and then obviously Mando then starts to land, and then guess who pops up? Oh, look, there's Grogu, which is obviously really good. Uh, Mando and the armor then start talking. You know, as you know from the last episode, he's taking his helmet off, and obviously wants to to confess his sin, so to speak, in the in the the rivers below Mandalore. Um, so they're flying through now. Um, obviously, she said, "Right, let's. You need to go do this. You need to go to those rivers and and pay your sins." So they're going through hyperspace and you can see these star creatures. Now, if you if you know about rebels, basically these are kind of whales type creatures that, that, that float around in space. Uh, that shot there was, was Grogu comes underneath after watching him and then goes to sleep with Mando. So obviously they're flying through and they're coming in, into Navarro now. Good cockpit so screenshot there. Um, and then obviously of the, how the town is flourishing compared to obviously season one. Um, and then obviously they then start to land. Another good, great shot there. Um, I'm like you, you know, I don't know Easter eggs, etc. I know a bit, but not overly too, too much. So this is just a general review. Uh, they're walking through Navarro. Here's Adma Akbar type uh, creature. And then obviously there's your Salacious Crumb from Jabba the Hutt, Return of the Jedi. This guy here looks like he's selling things, a bit dodgy. Um, and then there's a massive statue, obviously, of IG-11 where everyone worships. Uh, Grief and Mando obviously meet, and then they walk in. If you have a look behind, he's got uh, behind his cloak. There's like these creatures. Anyway, they're chatting away, um, saying, "Look, you know, come out, live in the flats," because he's saying about apostate. There's Grogu. Look, he does his force trick. And then obviously you've got a CP three O color style droid, but it's extra close up there. Um, and basically say, "Look, there's pirates in town. Can you come down?" The pirates having a go say, "Well, this used to be a bar. I want a drink in here. I want this." And he's saying, "Look, it's a school." And he's like, don't you remember, you know, we my, my boss helps you build this type of thing. Um, that then up having a standoff. And it goes into the, 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 the you know, it's still a cow, cowboy theme, what John Favre, Favre wanted to do. Um, in the end, obviously, Mando has to intervene as well. And obviously, five of them die and then the other guy runs off. They're now talking about, um, he goes, look, I could do with a marshal. He says, what about Marshall doing? And they said, you have to... Um, Handing in, uh, Moff Gideon that she got offered the place of um, to start in special forces, and I guess that's how they got rid of her. 
Mando is now wanting to, to basically get IG-11 to help him get onto Mandalore because it's made of glass and poisons. So they take half his body and Mando's going, look, I can fix him. Let me power him up. Let's see what happens. And lo and behold, um, it, you know, he starts moving. Nice little cute moment for Grogu thinking, oh, sweet, you know, my, my friend's back. And then all of a sudden he starts turn, turning to the Terminator, uh, jumps off the table, literally trying to attack Grogu any way he can. As you can see, he's all red to his original program. Pull himself across the floor. He tries to grab hold of Mando. Mando gives hold of Gro Gogru to grief. And as he crosses his path, the C3 um, protocol droid pushes his head off and it, and it crushes him. Grief Cargo turns around and says, well, you sure you, don't, you want IG-11 to help? I know the best fixers who can fix them. And lo and behold, it's Boba Frick and some cronies. Obviously, he's not the Boba Frick. Um, the, the style reminds me of the scene from Men in Black, um, but basically it's backwards and forwards with Grief Cargo because Mando doesn't understand. Grogu wants to then give him a big cuddle, whether he thinks it's a pet or cute. Mando obviously has to interject, take him off, and um, basically you know, speak to him and say, look, can you fix him? They turn around and say, well, we can, but there's a special part that you need to go and get. So Mando's off on another mission now to go and find that part. Jumps in the ship, goes into space. He's talking to Grogu, saying it's not about just about killing people. It's also about um, you know navigating through the system. And then lo and behold, these pirates then rock up. And as you can imagine, they're trying to take out Mando. And in this scene, I think it's a dogfight of them just demonstrating of how good his ship is. He's weaving out all the asteroids. Grogu jumps in um, under his belt to stay safe. Um, and then more pirates turn up, so it's like six against one. Going up and down these these asteroids or broken build uh, broken planets or whatever it may be, and as you can imagine, Mando one by one starts taking them out. Um, some good pictures of the of the the type of characters is there. Good CGI throughout. Um, you know it's consistent with it, and you know I, I really think it's really good. So as he takes them out one by one, he's left down to the main guy who grief cargo, um, you know had shot earlier. And it's his boss. So his boss basically pins all his, his weapon systems onto him. Say, look, you need to dock in here and maybe I'll let you live. Which Mando turns around to Grogu and say, never trust the pilot. And as you can imagine, Mando obviously then gets away by pressing this his magic button. Um, and just disappears where they, they can't trace him, basically. Um, and then from there, they then come over to the, the planet. I can't remember the name of the planet, but I will put it on the screen. Um, and basically he says, like, this is a Mandalorian castle, uh, which is basically a planet off shoot from the actual Mandalore. As he lands, a good shot of another protocol droid, and this, you know, you can see the scene where, from the trailer, where they're walking down, and it's Bo-Katan, and, you know, for some reason, Mando goes, it's Din Djarin. She's chatting, saying, have you still got the saber? He says, yes. He says, where, where is everyone? They said, she goes, they've all abandoned me, because you've got the saber, and without anyone leading them, they're just going off to do their own thing. Mando even turns around and says, well, where, where, where's that cargo ship that you that you took with all the weapons? She stays, uh, Bo-Katan says, well, they're off doing mercenary stuff. Um, which he then turns around and says, right, okay. Um, oh, yeah, for some reason, he turns around and says, well, I, I've came here to join you. So my understanding of that is, is that he said that, that because then she can lead into Mandalore and then he can go and repent. But she no longer wants to go to Mandalore. So from there, he, he turns around and starts to leave. Uh, Bo-Katan says, by Dinjarin, type of thing. Well, literally like that, by Dinjarin. And then obviously he starts to walk off. I just think going forwards, you know, he's got, there's like these subplots. So, you know, Mando's got to go and find um, IG-11's part so he can get him to fix and take him to Mandalore. Um, go and find, and, 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 and along the way, you know, he may get to Mandalore and realise, you know, that it is a load of rubbish. You know, it is a cult, maybe, or whatever you want to call it. At the same time, because the episode's called The Apostate, he stays in Apostate and he's got the lightsaber. So all bo -Kantan, his crew, start following Mando. And then, as we've seen in the trailers, you know, there's a big Mandalorian fight between the, the, the factions. And I, and I personally think that... 
you know, that, that, that basically, you know, it's them, them two factions against each other. Remember, I'm just a normal guy like you. You know, this is my opinions, my thoughts. As I said, you know, if you like the video, you do. If you don't, you don't. Feel free to give me a thumbs down. Feel free to cuss me in comments below saying don't give up your day job. I'm like you, you know, I have a, a full-time job and I just do this because I, I, I love Star Wars and, you know, I love Mandalorian. So if you got to this far, I appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's great or feel free to say how, how I can make this better because I wanna, I'm going to be doing this each week for the next seven episodes to come and who knows where that will lead. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.